Hello, if you're watching this right now, chances are your MLM just tanked or there is something a little bit off with your network marketing company or a friends or family members. Never fear, I have a retrospective here with a bit of a take on what I think has happened since the pandemic that may have thrown a bit of a spanner in the works for network marketing. So if you watch this all the way through, you're going to get a bunch of tips, make some notes and just take a breath and think logically about the situation because there will be a lot of people coming at you with lots of different offers and you don't have to take any of them until and unless you are ready to do so. So when network marketing started off, the rules of the game were basically to be either a board housewife with a ton of friends, or be bored of the cubicle life and want to work from a yacht. That was kind of a later one. And so the other thing that you needed to do was to be willing to work for nothing for as long as it takes, and also to be the product of the product and talk to everyone. If you've been in network marketing for a while, aspects of that may be still there, in the company that you're in. In a lot of companies, it's changed quite a bit, but this is how it started off. If you're ready, I'm gonna ask you some questions and this should help you to work out where you stand right now and what is going on with the business that you're in. Question one, if the rule is to speak to anyone within 10 feet, how do you do that in lockdown? Either you don't, or you do it online, or you break lockdown. Now, if you don't want to get arrested, if you cast your mind back, I don't know if you were doing this during lockdown, but most people didn't break lockdown. So then you're looking at either giving up on your business or going online. A lot of people gave up on their businesses and a lot of other people went online. Question two. If the main reason people wanted to join MLMs before the pandemic was the mystery of work from home, how do you sell that when work from home is no longer a mystery? You don't, or you go online, or you pretend it's still the 1950s. Now, pretending it's still the 1950s was difficult in some areas because there were still lockdowns and so on, so a lot of people just gave up. And then other people went online, but again, they lost out on the mystery. Question three, when your company closes and you're bringing in 10,000 plus a month, what should you do next? Stay and sign them up as affiliates, leave and move your list to another MLM, or present a solution where you are in control. Now, I can't make this decision for you, but that is something you need to consider. Question four. When you know your MLM is losing money, but it says things are going great, what do you do? Do you leave the company? Do you leave the industry? Or do you build something? Now, this goes to your integrity. And again, I can't tell you what to do. You might think the industry as a whole is generally okay, but your company is not. Or you might think that the industry as a whole is having an integrity problem right now and get out and build something of your own. I can't make that decision for you. You need to make that decision yourself. When your MLM closes, who owns your downline list? You, the MLM, or nobody? Well, if you haven't taken steps to get the people that you bought in onto your own list, the MLM owns that. So if you have been working for the same MLM for the last 20 years and you have just listened to them saying you've just got to duplicate, send them to the duplicated homepage or whatever, like your specific affiliate page, you don't own a single one of those names. You don't own the list. You can't really contact them again. You're done. So that is something to root to consider. If you've not been building a list, I would recommend that you definitely do that, whether you stay in MLM or not. Bonus game, earn more points by doing these challenges. Okay, the first one, you can build a system with training products that you can earn 
by selling direct. So you can earn money by selling directly to people by creating your own courses, your own books, your own systems, whatever you want. Or you can find someone with that kind of a system and you can become an affiliate for them. Or you can do both. And you can do that whether you're in an MLM right now or not. And honestly, if they are putting rules in place that prevent you from doing that, they're putting you in danger. You need to be in a position where you can still pay your bills if your MLM goes out of business. Now, I am building a system right now that I'm going to be looking for affiliates for in presently, but it's not yet built. So if you're interested in that, let me know and I will send you details when it is ready. But what I can do is show you what I've built in terms of my website and my blog and everything. So you can see what that might look like for you if you want to do something like that for yourself. Okay, so this is my website and I'm going to take you through it. There's testimonials on the front page. I've got little links to my blog there. If they click the button, they get through here. I can collect their details on the next page. So they just make, an, make a decision and they're through here. And they're going to get a little product. It's going to set up a library for them. So they're all set to buy products. They know how the process works to, to actually buy something from you, even though this is free, which is great. Back on the front page. So this is the blog. And again, I can collect people's details here. I'm giving away loads of free stuff. There's free stuff in the sidebar there, but I could put paid stuff in too. When someone clicks on the blog post, it'll open up like this and they can read it. There's my socials down there. And also you can have a podcast hosted in here. Now I host mine elsewhere and then duplicate it here, but you can host it here. And this is a special theme that I used to make it look like this. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just thought it was fun. So you can highlight uh, different podcasts. But yeah, it's, um, it's really great. You can create a load of bingeable content for people. Something else that you can do is you can have a membership. So this here, this is actually something else you can have, which is a newsletter. The newsletter can have paid elements to it. So this one, if someone opts in, they can get the free newsletter. But if they go for the paid newsletter, they're going to get access to that membership. And the membership comes with an app as well that, that is part of it. So they will have this app with the chat rooms and you can do live videos in there. You can do meetups in there. It's great. You can build courses in here. You can put offers in here. So this is a coaching offer. It doesn't have to be coaching. It can be cupcakes. It can be books. It can be anything you want. Um, but this is coaching around that same theme. I've got this kind of island theme going on. That is a relatively low ticket thing. Build higher ticket offers and you can serve more than one niche as well. So that is all obviously connected around our island theme. That's because it's connected with a gamified personal development platform that we're building. But we also help small businesses and this is a, a clearer aesthetic for that. So if you go through here, that's higher ticket. But look, they're all per month. So that's money coming in every month. You're not having to resell it every month. So if I click on that button, it goes through to one of the pages. Now you, again, you can spend ages making these really engaging, the actual checkout pages. This one's pretty simple. I've got other ones that are way more elaborate than this. You can put in coupon codes and so forth. So you can have special limited time or limited offers. There's a store. So if say, for example, you're in a, um, you're in a, a company that went from network marketing to straight affiliate and it was health and wellness products, you could have the products in there. 
There's an about page, so you can put all your stuff on here. If you click the logo, it's going to go back to your home page, which is really handy. And then there's privacy in terms that you can put in so that you stay on the right side of the law with everything. You can also add additional functionality. So for instance, I've got my Let's Talk button and I've also got this um, AI chatbot, which I've got a bunch of these. I'll link to how I do that below the video. So this, yeah, this could be your own website. Ignore that blue bit at the top. That's just because I was logged in. That wouldn't be there. But you can have your own look and feel to it. It's really extensive. You can build everything inside it. And I will link to this in the details too. So if you want to know how well this does on Google, that's me at the top there. And when you put in my name, it does pretty well. My face comes up, which is nice. And I've got snippets and everything. So yeah, I highly recommend this. It's been great for me.